Welcome back to Kitabu. We are here with another book review. Our book for today is Believe by Varun Gwalani. The author of the book is Varun Gwalani. He is a very young author. What I feel is he has done a very good job in creating a story that is gripping and also very meaningful. Now we move on to the plot of the book. In the story, I feel there are three main characters that are the protagonists of the story. First is Connor White, a depressed author. Connor White is an author whose wife has died. He writes a very depressing book that actually drives people to commit suicide. So he moves on to a town called Livion to get out of this and overcome his past. He has not had a very good childhood and so it translates into his book and his writings and so this causes him to become very depressed and not love his own life so he goes to this town called Livion where he tries to overcome his fears his problems and different things of his past and so I'm really sorry for the souls Victoria too is another character in this book she like Connor also is wanting to overcome her past what happened in the past, I want to keep it a suspense because I do not really want to be a spoiler. And our third character is the town called Livion. Why I quoted Livion as a character which is actually a town is because it acts like a character. It is the backdrop of the story where Victoria and Connor help each other to overcome their past and move on to the future and look for a better life ahead. The scene where she's coming back from Barrenville to get the medicine to Connor and Connor has very very less time and yet the way she ha is overcoming her fear the way the author has described she letting go of her past things that are holding her back that are holding her from having new relationships fr from allowing her to move on in her life and how she overcomes it and moves forward is a really very good sequence that I like very much my favorite character in this book is the story itself because the, each and every character has a role to play in the story. I recommend this book to all those who want a motivation in their lives. And one more thing that I learned from this book is that when things happen to you, you are not always at fault yourself. Connor White does not have anything to lean on at the beginning of this book. And towards the end, he becomes a person who has a motive in his life and believes in his life, his motives and himself proceeds towards the end he has a motive he has something that he tells that i have to do this in life he believes that he will be able to do this and he has a positive outlook of his life what i liked about the writing style of this author is that the author shows the transition of corner white from a depressed author to someone who has some a motive in his life it isn't too slow nor is it too abrupt the only negative point in this book is Connor White's writing itself and to quote the author's words Connor White for most of his life is not allowed the book believe is not just one story it's a story inside stories so since our protagonist is an author there are a lot of stories that he himself writes the one the dark alley I liked it really a lot part where Victoria describes her own story you are transported from the present state and suddenly Victoria takes you into another dream where she is narrating how she felt, how she reacted and how she had the life before Connor entered into Livion. Since our protagonist is an author, so I give this book 4 pens out of 5. Read, read, read. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Now please subscribe to our channel. Otherwise I am going to leave Dr. Clark on you. Now please don't ask me with Dr. Clark. Please read the book. <laughs>